Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and today we're gonna find out if the KNF and the filters with the polarizers are good enough. Stay tuned. <coughs> Before I was a huge fan of variable ND filters, but now I'm using uh, this type of ND with the polarizer filters more and more often because I really like the image qualities coming out of it. Let's start to talk about what are the convenience of using a fixed ND with a polarizer together. If you care about image quality, you don't want to get cross polarization problems caused by variable ND filters. And if you don't want to have vignetting in your uh, frame, this is the filter for you. It can be a little bit annoying because you have to swap between two or three filters while filming outdoor, but I can guarantee you these type of filters will give you the best quality possible. And during my last trip in the Caribbean, I brought just the ND8 polarizer filter uh, with a 24-105 f4 lens. I was filming in log. It was not really strong enough for my type of shooting, but uh, I was uh, going maximum at f11 to keep the exposure correct. It was good enough. Probably an ND32 with the polarizer would have served me better, but at the moment it wasn't released yet, so I had to use only this filter. And now that I received the ND32 with the polarizer from KNF, I can say I'm thankful I didn't bring it with me. I probably received a defective unit, because when I twist the polarizer uh, ring, I just get a huge color shift from blue to yellow. So I don't get any polarization at all. It's just ruining my footage uh, with this uh, crazy color shift. So it's not really usable. I contacted the team from uh, KNF and uh, we, have, we found out that probably is the defective. The build quality of these filters is pretty good. I think it's just a really strong art plastic and in fact they are really lightweight. And the filter is uh, twisting really smooth and uh, it has a nice grip uh, they should be also scratch and uh, water and oily resistant I brought with me in the Caribbean uh, Sea and uh, they are pretty resistant I didn't see any scratch while using the camera on the sand so are these filters any good? I can say that ND8 polarizer is uh, pretty good it has just a little color shift while we polarize uh, it's going just a little bit to the blue channel but it's nothing crazy it's uh, easily fixed uh, in uh, post but uh, probably you're not gonna really see it on the other side the ND32 with the polarizer that I got is defective so I cannot really express an opinion about this filter I will update in the description when I get a replacement if it's uh, good or not I will probably shift to another brand because I need uh, a set of three of them I need an ND8, an ND16 and an ND64 for the work that I do so until the KNF release uh, an ND64 and a good ND32 uh, I'm gonna work with another brand. I hope that this video was helpful in your decision making and if you like this type of content consider to subscribe. So see you next time guys, have fun, be creative and stay safe.